Hey YouTube, it is Easy Prepper 101. Today we're going to show you how to make a stove slash heat source and a candle. Let's get started. All right guys, the first thing you're going to need here is you're going to want to get two big tins. Um, and these are the puzzles that I get at Target or you can use uh, Altoid tins, it's your choice. Um, I kind of like using these bigger puzzle tins because you kind of get cram a little more stuff in there. So for this one, we're gonna start with the stove slash heat source. So you're gonna to wanna to get some cardboard, then you're gonna need some tape, then you're gonna need some waterproof matches, and then some little Ziploc bags that you can put the matches to uh, for this um, the stove slash heat source. Also, for this one here, you're gonna to wanna to get two glue dots or double-sided sticky tape two tea light candles and a uh, wax that you can get at a hobby store but if you don't want to go to a hobby store and buy the wax you can use any type of candles that you have in your house so now we're going to kind of break down the, this one first and then we're going to start with the, uh, that one next All right guys, now we're gonna start with the stove slash heat source. And this one is very simple to make. All you wanna do is get some cardboard, cut it into these kind of like the same length for all these, and you just start wrapping it around so you're kind of making like a, a candle or like a little maze. And then literally you just take this and you throw this in there. And then what we've done is we've taken our matchbox, and as you can see, we've already have cut it into the small pieces that you're gonna to wanna to have. So we can, so we, that's why we preloaded this. So these are taped in there. So if we have to get to it, we can get these matches out and the strikers in there. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the candle wax right here and we have a Pyrex glass, which is uh, definitely good to use for, um, for the melting process. Now, I'm not gonna show you the melting process, but I do wanna have let you know on some warning here. You're gonna to wanna to do this for like two to three minutes at a time because this can catch on fire in the microwave. So you wanna be very careful. You're gonna to wanna to watch this. Don't just throw it in for five minutes and think <clears throat> it's just gonna melt itself. Do two to three minutes, look at it, put it for another two to three minutes, but just keep watching it. And now we're gonna go melt this and we're gonna come back and we're gonna show you with the melted wax where we're gonna pour this into this container. All right guys, as you can see, this is the wax after it's done melted in the, the Pyrex container. Uh, just make sure that, you know, please be sure that you're watching it, that it doesn't catch on fire because this stuff will. So go two to three minutes and then after that do about every minute and a minute and a half and just keep stirring it. We just used a plastic spoon. We would pull this out of the microwave and stir it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this container up. We're gonna pour the wax across the whole thing about halfway. And now, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this set. And now what we're gonna do is we are now gonna start working on the second candle while this uh, the wax sets itself. All right guys, now we're gonna uh, do the candle in this tin. So what we ended up doing to try to shorten this video so it's not a long drawn out video was these were the um, double-sided stick tape or the glue dots, whatever you prefer to choose. We've already loaded in the tin. So as you can see, those little blue little dots, that's where we're gonna put the candle wick. And pretty much you just take the tea light, pop this out. We just need the candle wick. Set that right on there. Same thing with this guy. Put that right there. Now, if you want to do, because that brick of wax that we have, um, is in here. Uh, if you want to use these to add a little more wax, you can. But right now, we're going to take the leftover candle wax that we have that we did for the first stove, and we're just going to pour this in there. And as you can see, that pretty much filled up. So literally, you only need 
one of those uh, candle cubes or the square if you really want to use it. Or if you don't want to go to the hobby store and buy one, are you just going to maybe use the tea lights or any candles that you have left over, put it in the Pyrex. So now what we're going to kind of do to kind of help speed the process up is we're going to take these uh, two items, we're going to put them in the refrigerator just to kind of speed the process up so these uh, the candles will, the wax will solidify. So stay tuned. All right, guys, these have actually cooled. Um, takes about an hour to cool. What we did to kind of speed the process up was we put these in the refrigerator uh, on a plate so um, make sure nothing melts, you know, because the wax is gets very hot and these tins do get very warm. So definitely if you're going to put it in the refrigerator, make sure you kind of put it on a plate or like a rubber surface you would put a hot pan on so as you can see these are completely done so now all we're going to do is just take these there it is so what we'll do is like i do with some of my other kits is i will label these and that is it so if you guys have any comments or questions please write them down below if you like this video hit the thumbs up and if you haven't please hit the subscribe button thank you guys so much and we will catch you guys down the road